Hi everyone, it's Sam. I'm so excited about today's video because we are going to be going over my vinyl and CD collection. <gasps> Yay! I just thought this would be fun and I can kind of almost expose my music taste to you. So let's get started. I want to start this video with, I was like, who do I want to start with? Melanie Martinez. Wheels on the bus. Because she's been my favorite since day one. I have Crybaby, K through 12. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. After school EP. The only one I'm missing is Portals. Yes, those are my Melanie Martinez. I have loved Melanie since eighth grade. I can't even pick a favorite album. <laughs> I have both Ava Max CDs. I'm turning off my phone like I'm leaving. Bye. I have Heaven and Hell and Diamonds and Dance Floors. I <sighs> I love Ava Max. I love these albums. I love every song. I love every song on them. They are my go-to. I listen to them all the time. I I just they are just perfect to me. One of my favorite artists right now. So of course I have these two. Another favorite artist of all time is Ariana Grande. Why does this feel so light? Not like it wasn't in there. Okay. Ariana Grande. I do not have every album, but what I have is Yours Truly, My Everything, Christmas and Chill. This is hard to see, but it says it on there. Yeah, you can see it. I love her Christmas music. And Thank You Next. I'm missing a lot. So, of course, Eternal Sunshine just came out. And, like, that has been, like, almost the only thing I've listened to since it came out. It is perfect it is amazing and i love it and i recommend if you like ariana grande you should be listening to this album okay and guys i can't even pick an ariana grande album that's my favorite they're all favorites for different reasons and just because i don't have something on record doesn't mean i like it less next lana del rey because you're just a man it's just what you do of course, another one of my favorites for a very long time. I have Born to Die, Honeymoon, Norman Effing Rockwell, <laughs> and Chemtrails Over the Country Club. I've loved Lana Del Rey for, since, again, since the eighth grade, I've loved Lana. My favorite for the longest time, I've always said, NFR. This album is beautiful. Recently, I will say I have listened to a lot of Honeymoon. I don't even know which one I would pick for my favorite right now. But anyway, Lana Del Rey. Of course. Okay, I'm proud to say I have this in my collection. And that is, I have the complete Zombies collection. Well, for right now. Until Zombies 4 comes out and then I gotta get all of them to have the collection. Okay, Zombies 1, Zombies 2, Zombies 3. This isn't gonna be good. If you've watched maybe a video on my channel, you probably know that I love, 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 love Zombies. I've been in my Zombies era and my Zombies phase, which never ends since summer of 2022. I became like obsessed with zombies. For example, this right here. Get a close up on Zed and Addison from the hit Disney movie Zombies. You wanna know how to turn into Zed? Like there is a tutorial on my channel, okay? And what better thing to do than to spray my hair green and turn myself into Zed Necrodopolis? Oh my God, exceptional Zed. I'm exceptional Zed to all my family and friends. La 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 la. Might be crazy, but did you hear the story? Pick a favorite soundtrack? Oh, geez. Guys, I I might have to pick Zombies too. Had a Zombies themed birthday party. <laughs> okay, I know I keep saying like another, like my favorite, my favorite, but okay. Grimes, Art Angels. This album for the last four years, is like 2020, I started like listening to Grimes. I love this album. I love it. I have also the CD for Miss Anthropic. Oh dang, I don't want to butcher the name. I love Grimes music. I love this album. I love this album. I don't have anything else to say about it. Just, it's just, you should listen to it. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera. I love the Phantom of the Opera. I have the CD from the movie soundtrack. I saw the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. Oh my God, a year ago almost. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I love the Phantom of the Opera and the music from the Phantom of the Opera is just so beautiful. Think of me, think of me. Think of me fondly. Think of me. Past the point, the point of no return. 
Oh my god. I'm just like thinking about all the music and it's like just thinking about how good it is. I love the film of the opera. Do you and your taste with me? What do you send him to his grave? Next I have proof. BTS. This has a lot of their stuff like compiled as one. This has like three CDs in it and it's K-pop, like they know how to do CDs. Like they come with a lot of stuff. It's like really cool. I also, on the K-pop subject, I have twice, Formula of Love. Love this album. Yeah, I love, love both those groups. So listen to them too. Ah, the next one, I'm happy to say, I have three Panic at the Disco records. There has been recently a resurgence of like Panic at the Disco on TikTok, blah, blah, blah. And I keep seeing it. I'm like, wow, okay, I'm an OG because me in like the eighth grade and ninth grade love Panic at the Disco and I still listen to it. It's still good, especially the early stuff. So I have A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, Pretty Odd, Vices and Virtues. This, this is my favorite. It has been for years. Yeah, Panic at the Disco. I'm happy to see people are still loving it and yeah. A pretty new one to my collection is Silence Between Songs by Madison Beer. Started listening to Madison Beer just last fall and I love this album. The next album I have is very important to me and that is Zero One by The Living Tombstone. Every song on this album is perfect to me. This album never gets old. Something about the, the way the sound of this music, this electronic sort of thing, just it's perfect on my ears. It's perfect in my ears. You might know the Loving Tombstone from like the Five Nights at Freddy's song, and I love that too. I'm a proud listener of that kind of music, Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, all that stuff. But this album has nothing to do with like FNAF. It is just, it is amazing. I love this album. But yeah, for the last four years since this came out, three years? This album does not get old to me and I love it. <laughs> I have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the soundtrack. I love this movie. I love new anime that came out. I love that too. I love the soundtrack as well. I highly recommend you to watch the movie. I got Michael to watch the show and then the movie. We watched the movie together and yeah, he loved it too. I'm happy to have this in my collection. I was so excited the day that I found it at the store. I wrote a song about you. You did? Yeah, it goes like this. So I have Aqua Aquarium. I love this album. You know Aqua because you know Barbie Girl. Yes, I'm a proud listener of Barbie Girl. This is your typical like bubblegum pop, Euro pop music of the 90s. I love it. Something about it is just music to my ears. I love this whole album. My oh my, Good Morning Sunshine. This album, I love it. I'm happy to have it in my collection. Okay, Elvis Presley. I have these CDs courtesy of my dad. These were my dad's CDs. And so I have uh, Elvis top 30 hits. And then these ones are um, top 10 hits. A lot of songs. I have been listening to a lot of Elvis recently starting like in the winter of last year and I just love it and it's I think he's my top artist of the last six months now yeah just it's Elvis okay you know Elvis I'm so happy when we found these in my dad's collection Elvis everyone can you see I love you please don't break my heart in two Okay, thanks to my mom, I have two Twilight CDs. I have the soundtrack and then the score from the first movie. I love Twilight. I do, these movies just do not get old. So these were my mom's because my mom loves Twilight too. And so she gave them to me and I'm so happy I have them. Are you team Edward or are you team Jacob? Here's my stance on it. I am team Edward for Bella, but I am team Jacob for me. Leave a comment. Team Edward or Jacob. Okay, surprisingly, I only have one Marina record, but I've loved Marina since eighth grade. So I have Electra Heart. I love this album, but I love I love a lot of her music and I've been listening to her for years and years and I had fruit and I think I returned it because it wasn't it was skipping, it was there was something wrong with it, but I never got it. Oh my god, the family jewels, are you kidding me? Yeah, I love Marina. Okay, I have Poppy. Am I a girl? I was a fan of Poppy starting back when she was making her first YouTube videos, the ones that everyone thought was creepy, but I thought were cool. So yeah, I was the person who was Poppy fan even back then. Yeah, but I was listening to her new album and I had there's some really good stuff on there, but yeah, I have Am I a Girl. Some people like hate on her like old like stuff like this. I, I, I'm still a fan. And the stuff before this too, like poppy.computer. Put my music on shuffle. Interweb comes on, I'm like. Catch you in my internet. I have the Mamma Mia soundtrack. I've had this one a long time. I love the soundtrack. I love this movie, but my favorite one, Lay All Your Love On Me. That has been one of my all time favorite songs for 
years. This next one might seem a little strange to some people, but I have the Aladdin soundtrack from the live action. When this movie came out, I saw it in the movie theaters and I was obsessed with it. And I still, when the songs come on, I still will listen to them. I enjoy it, but I know there were a lot of haters of the live action, but I quite liked it. I've won 21 Pilots album and that is Trench. I was a listener of 21 Pilots back in the day. Like blurry face, like I'm surprised I don't have that one. This one might seem random, but it's Chipmunk Punk. Alvin and the Chipmunks. This was my mom's record when she was a kid and now it's mine. There's Alvin. Real Ones No Simon is my favorite. In this basket here I have more CDs that I've had since I was young. So I'm kind of going to go through these fast. I have two Shake It Up albums. I have Break It Down and Live to Dance. I will admit I just listened to these very recently. I love Shake It Up music. It's like your like 2010s like electronic dance music and I love that sort of thing, electronic dance. Growing up I was a really big Selena Gomez fan. I still listen to these albums. I have When the Sun Goes Down, Stars Dance, and A Year Without Rain. These albums are still so good. Like they're- I still love it. The Enchanted soundtrack which I listened to a lot growing up and still I love that movie. I have, oh, I have two Barbie. I have the Diamond Castle. I love the Diamond Castle. And I have three Musketeers. This was one of my favorites growing up. The one I wish I had though was Princess and the Popper. I don't have that one though, but I do have right here. I have the Lemonade Mouth soundtrack. Amazing, love it. Bridget Mendler. I have, of course, Hello My Name Is. I used to listen to that a lot. Oh my gosh, this is like a memory lane. I have Zendaya's album. Oh my God, are you kidding me? There was really good stuff on here. Scared, Butterflies. I have the Backyardigans soundtrack. I listened to this a lot as a kid. Backyardigans? Backyardigans was like peak, was peak kids television. Are you kidding me? Ant Farm soundtrack. Look at, look at them three on the back. Okay, is this a rare Disney CD? Make your mark. This hat, it was like a compilation. Ross Lynch right there. And it just had like some Disney Channel songs on it that didn't make it to another album. Oh my God. Austin and Ally soundtrack. Ross Lynch. Wow. There are still some really good songs from this. Illusion is that song to this day. I just listened to it recently. Austin Moon, everybody. I have like a Christmas album from when I was a kid. Another Christmas album. Oh. I have the Nutcracker soundtrack. We have this one, Charlie Brown Christmas, but this was like my mom's, there's no CD in it, I don't think. I just have the case, so I would have to find it somewhere. And what is in here, I think, are DVDs. I have a few albums currently in my room that were my grandma's. I have a lot of like Christmas ones. This, this one. That one's like instrumental music, and I looked it up and I actually have it, some of it on my Christmas playlist. And this one, but my favorite of all time, The Carpenter's Christmas Portrait. They have some of my favorite Christmas music ever that I listen to every year and so yeah so guys I think that about finishes up my collection of all of my vinyls and CDs thank you so much for watching and leave a comment telling me it's one of your favorite like musical artists or albums and yeah thank you so much for watching bye I'll see you in the next video Buckets and CDs, yay! Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs>